Hello there. It's a nice evening here in Chimicum at the Finn River Farm at our uh, medicinal herb planting. And today we're admiring this uh, betony, botanic, uh, Stachys botanica. So it's in the mint family, Stachys. And it's sometimes confused with a plant called wood betony. And this is actually called wood betony a lot. So betony, wood betony, betony, that term is also used for particularis, some of the particularis species, which is a totally different family, different medicinal uses. So it's, it's confusing. That's why it's nice to know the Latin on these things. Stachys botanica or Stachys officinalis, I think is the current preferred taxonomic term. And it's a, this plant has been around for a long time. It's been used by humans as medicine for thousands of years in Europe. It's a really well-known European medicinal plant. It was uh, used in the plague days for as the seven thieves formula or for people that were, were going in and rustling people's stuff after they died of the plague. It was kind of dangerous, risky business going into the going into plague-ridden houses. So they would take uh, a, a mixture of herbs, this being one of them. So it's associated with uh, Christianity. It's sort of like a sacred herb, you might say. Um, and highly regarded. And we still use it today, antiviral, antibacterial, use it for common sicknesses. And uh, it's got the typical square stem of a mint family. Uh, you can see this one here has really gotten tall. This is pretty old. Usually we harvest it at a much younger stage than this. This patch, we just, we have a big row of it here and most of it's been harvested and we just haven't gotten to this. We've been so busy with so many other harvests that this one has kind of gone wild. So it's gonna be a bit of work to clean this up, but we still wanna get this cut. And there's gonna be a lot of stems. So it's a lot of, you know, you know at least half or two-thirds of the weight once we get this dry. We'll dry it stem and all, then we'll screen off the uh, flowers and the leaves. And so we'll lose two-thirds of the weight in that time, but that's the way it goes. So a lot of times we like to harvest it really when it's young, the stems are not so elongated. We usually wait until it's early flowering. You can see down there, there's a row where it's been all been harvested. You can see uh, the row goes down there and those were harvested, oh, probably three weeks, four, even four weeks ago. And so they are regrowing and we'll get another cutting later. And if we don't get on this, we're only gonna get one cutting. But at any rate, it's, a, it's easy to grow. We grow up from crown division and it's beautiful. Look at the striking colors on this. Good for pollinators as well. Beautiful flowers in there. Just the, you know, the typical the typical shape of these uh, these mints here. Quite the nice uh, landing pad for the little insects to stick their head in there. So bumblebees use, I was just watching some bumblebees. So this is, tends to be a bumblebee crop. There's one right now. Okay, well, so easy to grow, beautiful, useful, another herb for your gardens. Go for it.